Now let's have a word about auscultation. Same as with hands while palpating, while auscultating the parts of the instrument that come in contact with child's chest must be warm. Ask him to breathe deeply through an open mouth. It is possible to evaluate breath sounds even in an irritable crying child. Place the diaphragm of the stethoscope lightly but firmly over the corresponding parts of the chest on both sides. If the stethoscope is partially touching the skin, it can create sound artifacts. Auscultate all areas in a systematic manner so as to include the supra and infraclavicular, memory, inframemory, axillary, infraaxillary, interscapular and infrascapular areas of both sides. Describe what is heard in terms of the location, intensity, pitch and timing. Intensity refers to the amplitude of the sound, that is how loud or soft it is heard. This must not be confused with harsh which reflects the pitch and the amplitude together. Listen to both the inspiratory and expiratory phase of breathing. One can have V's during expiratory phase only or both during inspiratory and expiratory phase. Vesicular breath sounds are heard over normal lung. In a normal patient, the inspiration is immediately followed by expiration and there is no gap between the two phases of inspiration and expiration. As the normal vesicular breathing are also generated by turbulence of airflow, they are heard when the flow is maximal, that is throughout during the inspiration and in the early part of expiration. In bronchial breathing, the inspiratory and expiratory phases are equal and there is a gap between the two phases of respiration. Bronchial breathing is heard when sound generated in the central airways is transmitted more or less unchanged through the lung substance. This happens in consolidation because the alveoli which are normally filled with air and dampen sound transmissions are now relatively solid and conduct the sound straight to the chest wall. Bronchial breathing can also be heard just above the air fluid interface in a pleural effusion. Rarely it can be heard over a collapsed portion of the lung if there is a patent airway overlying the collapse. Pitch and timing are used to categorize abnormal breath sounds into two broad groups. The musical sounds over a relatively long duration are called the V's or ronchi, as opposed to the non-musical discontinuous sounds of shorter duration that are called crackles. I have discussed V's and crackles in a separate video. The link is given below in the description. Vocal resonance refers to the sounds auscultable over the chest when the patient generates sound from the larynx. When these sounds pass through the airways and lungs, the higher frequency components get filtered off. However, when there is consolidation, a relatively solid lung does not filter off these frequencies and sounds produced at the larynx are transmitted with good clarity. Egophony refers to nasal or a bleeding quality of speech transmitted through consolidation with patent bronchus. Bronchophony is the voice of the bronchus when the spoken voice is heard loud but not very clear as if one is hearing it near the earpiece of the stethoscope. Plural rub is a sound that can be auscultated in a plural disease. It's a creaky sound that is produced by rubbing of the visceral and parietal layers when the pleura is inflamed. Therefore, a typical rub will be audible during both phases of respiration. Thank you for watching this video. Please help us improve the content by commenting in the comment section or emailing at the link given below, especially regarding the length of this video, anything which can be removed or anything which can be added or any other comment and suggestion. Thank you so much.